All right, dudes and dudettes, I want to start a new series. I've been thinking about it for a long time, several months actually, I've been thinking about doing this video blog series, and we're just going to start. This series is going to be called Customer of the Week, and uh, to be featured on Customer of the Week is probably actually not a good idea. So I realize now um, that... As I've gotten older and more mature and more experienced in business, my job is not to find more students. My job is not to find more customers. I've done the math and at max, I can realistically speaking, I can work with 2000 students per year. And that's a lot more than the previous several years I've been working with 1000 students per year on average. At 2000 students per year, if we, even if I just focus on one region, one Bay Area, we're looking at a region of 7 million people. That means every year, it's not that I need to host 2,000 people, and not that I need to find 2,000 people. I need to convince, uh, what is this? 6,999,000 and, 6 million? Oh geez, Asian bad at math. 7,000, one, two, three, four, five, six zeros. And we need to subtract 2,000 out of that. One, two, three, uh, that 10 becomes a, 10, that zero becomes a 10, this becomes a nine, that becomes a nine, so that becomes an eight, this is a nine, nine, and a seven. Seven, that becomes a six. Six million, nine hundred, ninety-eight thousand people. Six million, nine hundred, ninety-eight thousand people that I need to tell, I need to convince that they are not the correct student and do not come. All right, so in other words, for those who out there who are gun instructors, who are business people, you might also take this into consideration as well. How you build a successful brand, how you build a successful school is not to find more clients, but instead to recognize that there's an infinite number of clients for you, an infinite number of students for you, an infinite number of customers for you, and simply find the correct ones by convincing the incorrect ones to get out of the way. Because there is no way that you have the energy, you have the time, you have the labor that you could possibly serve all customers. Think about this. Any restaurant, any store, any service uh, business, any um, auto repair, any, any re retail, anything like that has a target market. And if you're not part of that target market and you're there, you're going to waste your time. You're going to waste their time. All right. So on this, today's theme here is called respect. I have just successfully kicked out a student by the name of Tom. Now, I'm not happy about that. I'm not bragging about that. I'm not boasting about that. But I'm hoping by sharing with you this story, and if I share with you our weekly stories like this, that you can understand that uh, some things about my philosophy, of our philosophy of business, philosophy of the school, philosophy and training, philosophy and, and purpose and what it, is, what it is that we do and what it is we don't do. Now, regarding... Customer service, what I'm finding, and this is a theme, is that when people sign up for private classes, usually they are pretty clear about what they're looking for, but they tend to bring people to private classes as their guests who are not clear on what they're there to do. They think, or the friends, you know, the, the other people who are accompanying are, so let's say a person who is my student is an experienced student and sets up a custom class or private class, oftentimes they'll invite a friend or bring a family member. Now, that friend or family member may have less of an understanding of what it is that we do here, and they may have an unrealistic expectation. One of those expectations is that we're here to shoot guns, okay? So, or to just to shoot guns, or primarily here to shoot guns. And I need you to understand that we're not here to shoot guns. Shooting guns may be a component of gunfighting. Gunfighting may be a component of fighting. Fighting may be a component of self-defense, and self-defense may be a component of understanding the world and living well and living a happy life. I'm here to address the major issues of how do you find quality of life and how do you live in peace and prosperity and avoid conflict with your neighbors and stay out of trouble and don't get victimized by the bad guy and don't get arrested by the cops. That's my goal for you. I want you to understand the world that you live in. I want you to understand human conflict. I want you to understand the nature of human interaction as being defined by our conflicts and how you resolve those conflicts really establish your quality of life. And they set for you how you're going to have quality of life. So let's talk about quality of life, right? Shooting guns is important. We will shoot guns. I promise you we will shoot guns. I promise you we will train with guns. But that is not the reason why we are here. If the reason why you're here is to shoot guns, go to a shooting range. It's cheaper. Just go to any old shooting range and pay your 
admission fee and buy your bullets and just go and bang, 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 and then you're happy and you'll go home and I don't got to kick you out of class. I have my time that I can focus on my customers and I don't got to give you a refund. I don't have to process any of that stuff. We don't have this conflict. In other words, if you know what you're buying, then we're not going to have conflict. If you don't know what you're buying and you come here and what you're expecting is not what I can give you and what I'm giving you is not what makes you happy, we're not going to have a good time. So we might as well just go home. I have things I need to do. I have a lot of students I need to care for. I have admin. I have a huge list of things that are on my to-do list as any small business owner does. Okay. So in other words, expectation setting. We are here to train in self-defense. We are here to train in self-defense to understand that understanding how to use weapons to succeed in conflict is to achieve peace. We are here to achieve peace. We're not here just to bang, 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 bang. Okay? Next thing, let's talk about cultural fit. Regarding culture in our organization, in our school, regarding culture of the students, the number one thing that I'm looking for as a trademark of students is respect. I give a lot of respect to my customers until you prove to me that you don't deserve my respect, that is. And I expect that you give me your respect. That is part of the deal that you enter into. When you pay me for a class, there is a two-way contract here. And let me explain this contract. You come and bring your curiosity and bring your desire to learn and bring your respect for what it is that I have to teach. You want my knowledge. You want my experience. You want my expertise. I have a lot of expertise. I've worked with thousands of students over the last eight years. I've worked with thousands of students before then in the academic setting. That's 14 years now that I've been a teacher. This is year 2020, okay? 14 years I've been a professional teacher. I know a thing or two about what I'm doing. I've worked with thousands and thousands and thousands of people, and I can find if you're left-eye dominant or right-eye dominant. And we've looked at many, 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 many examples of why, if you're going to use a rifle, you should use your dominant eye. It's a two-handed weapon. You're going to use both hands. Learn to use both hands. And it doesn't matter if it's on the left side or the right side. Make that a matter of your mindset. And the next thing is, if you understand Bruce Lee's wisdom, empty your cup. So respect. Part of that is when you go to a school that you empty your cup and you listen to what the teacher wants to say to you. Now, tomorrow, when you go home, if you want to do it your way, go and do it your way. I don't care. But when you're here today in this school, you ask me how to do something, and I explain to you how to do something, you do it that way. If you have questions you want to clarify, ask and ask and ask and ask to see demonstration and ask to understand the history, understand the context, understand the rational why, and compare and contrast and try things out for yourself. But in the end, the teacher will give you a reason why to do it, and you do it that way. Now, maybe my way is not the best way. Maybe my way is not the right way. Maybe my way is not the way you want to do it. It kind of doesn't matter. If you're going to pay somebody, then absorb what you're paying for, buy what you're buying, and go home and then decide if you want it or not. So if you're buying knowledge, you're buying from a school, buy the knowledge. Don't go to the school and tell the teacher, no, I'm uncomfortable doing it this way. I want to do it that way. No, I really don't want to do it this way. I really want to do it my way. If you want to do it your way, let's go back to the beginning. Go to the range. Do it your way, right? I have time today for six students. I have time today for three students. I have time today for one student. I don't care who it is, but I want to work with someone who wants to be here. If you don't want to be here, which is to say you want to be disrespectful, you want to tell me how to run my school, or you want to come in here with a full cup. So in other words, this idea of empty your cup, right? So from a, from a Zen Buddhist idea, if we have a cup of tea, you come here and you be my guest and I pour you a cup of tea. And if you don't drink this tea down, I can't fill your cup. Or if you come in with a cup of someone else's tea, I cannot fill your cup. How are you going to drink tea that I serve you? You need to empty your cup. You need to empty your cup first so that I can fill it for you. If you come in here with a full cup and you're not interested in what I have to offer, we are not a good fit. It's not a good fit. Don't come. Or else it wastes my time, it wastes your time. Unha I'm unhappy, you're unhappy. I have 365 days a year, okay? I can teach approximately 300 days a year. Of those 300 days a year, as it adds up, I work with, you know, give or take on a healthy year. Uh, by the looks of it, I will be working with about 2,000 students per year in 300 days. 
This is our business. This is my school. Your school is maybe different if you're a gun instructor. If you're a business person, you have your own metrics. You know your own metrics. But in my business, that's what it is. Now, of these 300 days a year I have to work, today is a waste. I will go do something else with my time, something else that's important, right? Because we have a student who does not understand this basic philosophy. Empty your cup when you come to class. It's not about me. It's not about this student. It's not about rifle training. It's not about uh, left eye dominant, right eye dominant. It's nothing about that. It's about the basic understanding of the relationship of teacher and student. If you don't know, if you don't know this as a matter of culture, if your mother never taught you the basic relationship between teacher and student, then we're not going to good fit. We're not going to fit well. Just find someone else. Go elsewhere. Go to the range. Go find a different instructor. Don't come here. Okay. So in other words, when I say don't come here. What that means is, for those of you who can understand this principle, then you are welcome. If you cannot understand this principle, you are not welcome. I only have time for so many people in my life. I have a career that's only so long. I have a lifespan of only so long. I can only work with so many people. Let me work with the people who appreciate, who wish to learn, and who are willing to pay good money to learn good knowledge and then go and try out those techniques and thoughts that I offer you. Make sense? Okay, so this is episode one of Customer of the Week. It allows you a chance to understand me, Brian Wang. allows you an understanding of my business philosophy as well as teaching philosophy. And hopefully this will allow you to make up your mind of whether or not you want to come to class. And if you do want to come to class, then you can stay in tune and follow up with some of the drama and some of the interesting things that happens on in my day-to-day -day activities. Thank you for listening. You have been very patient with me. My name is Brian Wang. You can find us online at monarchdefense.org. I'll talk to you later.